You know, the pandemic, it's hard on everybody, but I want you to think about those that are in retirement communities. Some of these folks have not seen their families in weeks and weeks, but one retirement community said, we're going to do something about this. A drive-by parade. Take a look. So, Robin, uh, we see a lot of these, but there's, it's always really cool when people pull together for our aging you know, citizens who deserve it right now. It's a nerve-wracking time for them. Explain what happened today and what was the reaction. We had a great turnout today at Westchester Manor. Um, of course, it's been eight-plus weeks since our residents have seen their family members, and they were so excited to see them in their cars and posters and balloons and even though we all had masks on, there were a lot of smiles, and I can assure you underneath that, there were a lot of tears. What do you think the, the residents get out of like that type of thing? Because I know that um, older folks, they light up when, when youth or kids are around. I think um, the music and the dance really brings joy to them. We have groups that come into the facilities to do that when we're able to do that, so I think they really enjoy that um, as a kickoff. Isn't it, I, I think it's funny and, and kind of ironic that out of all of this, this quarantine, this type situation, it basically takes you back down to where simple things matter by just somebody coming to visit. It does, um, and they miss their family so much and the children that were in the parade, they were, you know, screaming out their, you know, hello grandma, hello, hello grandpa, and the smiles, and it was just amazing. Robin, thanks so much. That is that is just what we need to a heartwarming story today. I appreciate your time. Good luck out there.